In this video, we're going to be writing a complex number in standard form. So a plus bi. Given that z equals the square root of 8 times the cosine of negative pi over 3 plus i times the sine of negative pi over 3. So what we're going to do first is look at our square root of 8. We know that's our r value, but we also know that that reduces. So the square root of 8, when we reduce that, becomes a 2 radical 2. So we're going to say then that r equals our 2 radical 2. And then we're going to evaluate here. So we're going to evaluate the cosine of negative pi over 3. And if we look at our unit circle, that's going to give us a 1 half. And we're going to evaluate the sine of negative pi over 3, which is going to give us a radical 3 over 2, a negative radical 3 over 2. And now we're going to kind of plug in what we have. So we have z equals our r value of 2 radical 2 times 1 half minus radical 3 over 2 i. Remember that i is still there. Then we're going to distribute the 2 radical 2 to each piece. So that's going to give us a z equals a 2 radical 2 over 2 minus a 2 radical 2 times radical 3 all over 2 i. So when we simplify that, we see that we're able to cross out our 2's there, and that's going to give us a square root of 2, then a minus, and again, we're going to be able to cross out our 2's here, and that's going to leave us with a square root of 6 i, and then we usually write the i in the front, so z equals the square root of 2 minus i square root of 6. And now we've written our complex number from trigonometric form into standard form. Now you could have written it this way as well, but you really need to make sure that that i stays out from underneath the radical symbol.